Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today I am going to discuss about the purpose of using share reinforcement in BIM. Uh, so why we use uh, this kind of share reinforcement in BIM that will be our discussion today. And uh, we know that uh, this share reinforcement in BIM is called stirrup. It's called stirrup or wave reinforcement. So what's the purpose? So number one is shear reinforcement. Shear reinforcement increases the memory strength against diagonal tension failure by one is a direct transfer of shear force and another is uh, improvement of aggregate interlock so first i will discuss above all this this is uh, here it says that uh, shear reinforcement increases the member strength against diagonal tension failure so what is diagonal tension failure it's already uh, discussed earlier it is uh, nothing but here this is support this is support here you can see this kind of failure this kind of crack can be developed in uh, beam section so here we provide if we provide here share reinforcement like this uh, this is uh, here uh, so this uh, reinforcement will uh, will increase uh, the member strength against this kind of share this kind of failure so this kind of failure uh, happens due to uh, maximum shear force in this part at support so this is uh, a direct uh, transfer of shear force and this is how uh, this kind of failure uh, removed so here uh, this shear reinforcement uh, is a direct transfer the shear force and improvement of aggregate interlock so here's the aggregate and this aggregate is interlocking uh, easily how uh, improved the interlocking system and that's how this uh, improves the against um, diagonal tension failure so second purpose is number two number two is uh, nothing but it it helps that means uh, shear reinforcement helps helps to maintain to maintain the intensity intensity of compression zone so when you draw this kind of beam and this is a simply supported beam and here a load is developed so here's the load so if this load here uh, this uh, this loads impact here is the impaction and this will uh, throw a wave like that this is impact uh, impaction wave so due to this wave here uh, crack will be developed crack will be developed due to this wave so here if we uh, if we establish some shear reinforcement and uh, that means stir up so here this crack can be removed so stir up will be the precaution against uh, this uh, kind of crack so for this kind of load here the beam uh, will face kind of something kind of this kind of crack this severe crack and uh, this is due to uh, maximum bending force here and uh, uh, this is called flexural crack and this is in the compression zone so we provide uh, shear reinforcement so third one is third one purpose is uh, it improves it means it's, uh, it means uh, share reinforcement share reinforcement improves improves the members ductility
so when this kind of load is developed over the beam acted on the beam and then uh, some kind of deflection will be shown under the beam section so to remove uh, to protect the beam against this kind of deflection we need to provide shear reinforcement or stirrup in the beam so it can be uh, removed or it can be protected by this uh, from this uh, deflection so another purpose is remains this is uh, very important it helps it helps to maintain maintain reinforcement in proper position that means here uh, it's uh, it's all the stirrups if we draw another beam uh, here uh, longitudinal bar will be like that it's the longitudinal bar it is upper layer and this is lower layer and here's the stirrup so this stirrup will hold this uh, longitudinal bar here's the uh, you can see it uh, this is longitudinal bar main river and these are the stirrups so these stirrups will hold all the uh, longitudinal bar so these all are the purpose of uh, using shear reinforcement or stirrups or wave reinforcement in the beam uh, in beam rcc beam so uh, you can understand easily so now i am going to solve this one here it says uh, a simply supported rectangle rectangular rcc beam white is 16 inch and having an effective depth this is effective depth is 22 inch and carries uh, total load this is uniform load and it is uh, 9.4 kips per feet on a 20 feet clear span beam and uh, this is if f prime c is 4000 psi and fy is 60000 psi and design the wave reinforcement so if we represent all this data into a figure then this is the simply supported beam and here the load is 9.4 kip per feet and uh, this is uh, 20 feet span here it says uh, this is 20 feet span and uh, if i draw the reaction here here's the reaction two reactions and this reaction's value will be what if you calculate you will find that 9.4 into this is mid portion so 10 so it will be 94 keep and this will be 94 keep so if i draw the shear diagram then uh, it will be similar like that mm, it's a uh, uh, uniform distributed load so it's 94 and then it will be reduced uh, with a triangle shape one degree curve so this is the shear reinforce uh, shear force diagram so this is the maximum shear that is developed and uh, near the support of the beam and this is simply supported beam so now let's go so here's the effective depth of the beam is 22 inch so what will be the total length of uh, total depth of the beam so total depth of the beam will be uh, if i draw the beam section if this is uh, this 1.5 inch will be the clear cover so total depth total depth will be 22 plus 1.5 inch so this is 23.5 inch so maximum share so v max maximum share is uh, 94 that we already obtained this is 94 keep and uh, critical share this is important one critical share uh, will be developed at a distance at uh, this uh, this depth is effective depth is 22 inch so it will be developed at, at uh, 22 by 12 inch that means it's a feet converted to feet 1.83 feet 
so at the distance from 83 feet it will be developed a critical share so vcr critical share is uh, 94 that is given 94 minus it's here so w uh, is 9.4 into 22 by 12 that means 1.83 so here you will get the result is 76.8 kips so this value is 76.8 and this is the critical uh, share so if you, we want to find out the critical share stress so critical share stress will be uh, sigma cr it's uh, i think about 76.8 by b into d so b is 16 inch this is here 16 inch and 22 inch is the depth so here you will find that uh, 0 0.218 kips per inch square and uh, if we find out the design share so design share is nothing but 2 phi root over a prime c b d so here it is phi is 0 0.75 into uh, root over 4 this is 4000 so 4000 into b that means b is 16 and d is 22 so it will be 33.4 kip so here's the 33.4 kip and the stress will be just uh, divide this value with 16 into 22 then this stress will be uh, this is design stress so design stress will be 0 0.095 kip per inch square so look here this is uh, design design stress is less than um, critical stress so we need stir up so that's how we prove that we need uh, stir up for this beam so we need stir up here i write and now i have to calculate stir up so if i take 10 mm bar for stir up because uh, in bnbc 2006 or 1993 it's uh, written that uh, for less than 30 mm dia so not more than 30 mm dia bar that means a longitudinal bar or main bar for this the stir up uh, dia will be 10 mm and uh, above the 30 mm so above the 30 mm for this uh, stir up will be 12 mm so here for this uh, kind of beam it's uh, simply supported and here if we think this is uh, less than 10 uh, 30 mm dia bar is used so 10 mm bar will be uh, applied so the uh, area of this 10 mm bar is uh, 0 0.11 inch square so uh, if we use in stirrup then they are both side stirrup here stirrup here stirrup so it will multiply with 0 0.2 into 0 0.11 so it's 0 0.22 so here i will use a formula uh, for finding out the spacing so spacing will be uh, a v f y d by phi sorry v u minus phi v c so here if i put this values here so spacing s is equal to so a v is nothing but this one this is a v so 0 0.22 into uh, this is f y f y is 60 60 ksi into uh, this is uh, d effective depth so it is 22 and uh, vu vu is nothing but this is 76.8 critical stress minus 5 vc is design so design one is 33.4 so here after calculating this value will be 0.22 into 60 into 22 divided by 76.8 minus 33 this is 6. 6.69 inches so we will use 6.5 inch so the stirrup uh, will be used as a 10 mm 
at the rate 6.5 inches center to center so the question is how long so uh, this value that means uh, 10 mm at the rate uh, 10 mm 6.5 inches center to center spacing stirrup will be how long it will be used so this is the distance it is uh, 33.4 kg for here uh, design and uh, the here it will be started and sorry here it will be started and this uh, long so from here the value is this distance i need to find out and this is i can find from uh, similar triangle method and this distance is 10 feet because this is 20 so this uh, portion will be 10 feet so if i use similar triangle theory then i will find this is 94 94 by this is 10 so 10 feet is equal to if i take this d as a 10 minus x so here it is 33.4 divided by 10 minus x so after calculating this x value will be 6.45 feet so here uh, the value this is 6.45 feet 6.45 feet so along this distance here uh, this 10 mm at the rate 6.5 inches center to center stirrup will be used so rest remains that means uh, this is a total 10 feet and this along this value is 3.355 uh, feet so here what's the uh, what kind of stirrup will be used so so here is stirrup spacing will be uh, s is equal to d by 2 that means uh, effective depth is 22 by 2 this is 11 inch and another is s is equal to a v f y by phi f prime c b so here it will be 0 0.22 into 60,000 divided by phi is 0 0.75 into uh, 4,000 f prime c into uh, B value is 20 mm, sorry 16 inch so what will be the value sorry here uh, need to be correction this is uh, root a prime c so the formula is root a prime c so here the spacing will be 17.39 inches so this is uh, two calculation one two and another is this spacing is finding for this 3.55 feet uh, distance so this third one is s is equal to a v f y by 50 into b so this one's value will be 16.5 inch so here what is the minimum so minimum is 11 inch so here you can see this is 11 inch so this one will be here so 10 mm dia bar at the rate 11 inch center to center will be provided in this section so now i will show you the detailing of uh, shear reinforcement so here is a beam and here uh, this two is column and this is the beam and here the main reinforcement main river that means it will be like that this is top layer and this is the bottom layer so this here's the clear cover uh, clear cover is uh, 1.5 inch 1.5 inch and 1.5 inch so this is the support for this beam and these two column and you should remember that uh, the from this support first stirrup will be not exit 2 inches so at least uh, this uh, this first stirrup will be uh, situated between 2 inches so it's 2 inch here you should remember this you should have to keep it and first stirrup I put down and this stirrup will be uh, continue like that continue like that in this position and I will mark this position as uh, we know uh, this is uh, 6.5 inches spacing and it will continue to 6.45 feet so if I take here it is 6.45 feet and 
this is 3.55 feet and this is also 3.55 feet and this is 6.45 feet so here the stirrup will be uh, from here and in here and so these stirrups are uh, 10 mm at the rate 6.5 inches center to center and next one so for this 3.55 and for this 3.55 it will be um, larger spacing so this is uh, for 10 mm at the rate it's uh, 11 inches center to center and after that it will continue with the first one so this is so this is 10 mm at the rate 6.5 inches center to center so this is the detailing of uh, shear reinforcement so this is a stir up a stir up detailing that we calculated from this problem and this is the solution so thank you for watching this video assalamu alaikum